Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Mirror Mirror. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week here on my YouTube. And this series is all about relationships because they are the key to life. And this topic, I received a DM on my Instagram and she asked for my advice on how to stop bringing trauma into the present. And I decided I might as well film a video on it because it's something that I have battled with for so many years and if you've watched my video where I explained my whole experience in an abusive relationship you will understand why I struggled with this and also how common it is for so many people to always bring old trauma, old experiences and basically the past and then enmesh it with the present as if it's happening again in the present when it's really not it's just a trauma response and like trauma responses and reactions are very very difficult to move through to understand and then to be able to change like it's not an easy thing but it is so so possible and like I have had to work through it so much but it does require a lot of self-awareness and accountability for the fact that you are projecting essentially projecting onto the person that you're now with currently whether that's a rom romantic relationship or friendships or family whoever it is it doesn't matter we can do this with so many people so I'm going to use romantic relationship as the example because the person that asked for my advice was talking about a romantic relationship so for this example I think it's easier if I take it from my own experiences because like that's just the best way for me to explain it so we're going to talk about it from the standpoint of an abusive relationship which is what I've dealt with but it literally relates to any relationship including friends and including family so like from my experience and this is something that I did kind of recently as well like after you've been through a traumatic situation no matter what it is when there's trauma there when there's something that happened that was painful even if it's like cheating or if it's like a betrayal in some way like lying or something no matter what it is when there's some kind of wound there it can be so easy to then like that wound gets triggered again when you're in a new situation with somebody that's never hurt you never done something wrong but because you're so used to that behavior like it kind of has an imprint in your body and in your energetic field it literally leaves an imprint of what that felt like, of what caused it, like what kind of memory it was, you know, like there's just a full blown imprint in your um, in your mind and in your emotions and in your body. So then when something happens that then triggers that, it like, it reminds you of that old experience, even though the new one may be nothing to do with the old one. It could be a completely different situation, but it reminds you of the old one. So the point where you then, like for me my whole body would just kind of tense up like it brought over anxiety it would just feel really uncomfortable because now I would doubt myself I didn't know how to move forward or like how to interact with this person anymore because it felt like oh my god like I've been here before holy shit kind of thing like you don't know what to do because it literally is a trauma response like it's triggering an old trauma and those old traumas are painful as hell like you might have gone through some really horrific things or some really bad things so if it's triggering it it's not going to feel very nice and then it's like how do you move through that and move forward with that and oftentimes we then project the whole past experience onto this new person so you might treat them badly or like treat them as if they were the old person when they've not done anything wrong and then they don't know how to handle that or how to be with you they don't know how to like open up to you either or love you essentially because you're closed off because you're trying to protect yourself from old trauma but the thing we have to recognize is whether this present situation is the same as the old one like is it the exact same behavior is it similar behavior is it repeating that or is it just a trauma response 
based in the past? Like, are you projecting onto them or are they actually doing similar kinds of behaviors that don't feel good and that aren't right for you? You know, like you have to discern the difference between the two as to whether the current person is actually doing something wrong or whether you're kind of projecting your past onto them. And for me, the way to tell the difference with that is like, is to really look at the situation that's triggering you, look at what's happening, look at the behavior and look at their intent as well and kind of like try to see and understand I mean it's essentially looking at their patterns like are they are they doing something that disrespects you first of all are they doing something that insults you or puts you down or makes you feel small like what are their words what are their behavior and actions what are they actually doing uncover what that is first so that you know whether it's like whether your emotions are coming from the present or whether they're coming from a past experience you know because if they're doing something right now even though it's a new person if they're doing something that disrespects you then obviously like it's not just a trauma response it's a trauma response from the past but it's also reacting to something that they're doing in the present so you need to be aware of the two and then if you realize that they're not actually disrespecting you and they're not being malicious or doing something that's intentionally gonna hurt you but that you're scared you're scared to open up like they want to do something but you're scared to do it or they're trying to be with you and you're scared to open up to them like you have to know the difference between whether it's about their behavior or whether it's about you and how you feel and the fear that you're feeling and like the anxiety and things that you're feeling around opening up to them and once you're aware of the fact that it's you and that you're scared and there's nothing wrong with admitting that you know like I've had to admit that myself in my relationship as well and how terrified I was to open up in certain ways and stuff because I mean if you've been through some bad things it can be difficult and like being vulnerable anyway regardless of going through negative things is hard enough without going through some like toxic things that really was that a fucking bird that just made that noise? <laughs> what the fuck? That was a weird noise. Yeah, it's difficult enough being vulnerable now anyway without having past trauma and stuff on top of that. And to be honest, the majority of, her, of us have trauma, whether it's in a romantic relationship or whether it's just family and like, and school years and stuff. Like we all have so many different traumas in so many different areas of our lives that really affect how we behave and carry ourselves as adults and how we behave in our relationships so it's just really important to have self-awareness and know where your trauma is coming from know where these emotions and these thoughts are coming from that are coming up when something triggers you to really understand why you're feeling triggered what it is that's triggering you and what emotion it is that it's triggering you need to be aware of all of these things so that you can then figure out how to move forward and know how to move forward so for me like being vulnerable and things was a really difficult thing after coming out of a really abusive toxic relationship so I had to become aware of the fact that I was getting triggered so many times in so many different ways when it comes to being vulnerable and when it comes to connecting with people and even just being authentic and speaking your truth and stuff like the things I had to work through a lot so the way to do this first of all is self-awareness and then after that, it's a case of, and this is going to sound like, oh God, but it's a case of really implementing it. And <laughs> that doesn't mean it's easy because it's not easy. And it's literally like a daily effort, which I know people don't want to hear because it's like, oh, can't you just give me a quick fix? Like, how can I make my relationships better? How can I do this kind of thing? But there is no quick fix. It's a lifelong journey, which is what we're here for. You came here to earth to have relationships, to experience love, to experience giving and receiving. Like you came here for this experience. So it's not going to be a quick fix. Not to mention all of the trauma that you may well have gone through. It's not going to be a quick fix to be able to open up and have the most incredible relationships. You know, sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it can be quick, but sometimes it takes time and you can't beat yourself up over the length of time that it's going to take or punish yourself for it not being instant, you know. So it's a daily, daily process 
of number one, self-care, number two, self-awareness. And really, once you understand the wounds and the areas that are being triggered, so like I said, for me was um, being vulnerable in things. Now in my daily life, as a daily practice, whenever something comes up, whenever I'm around people and I'm experiencing connection, not just romantic, but my friends, my family, I'm then having to learn every single time I speak to somebody, even in my DMs with you guys, like it's teaching me how to connect, it's teaching me how to be vulnerable, filming these videos is teaching me how to be vulnerable, like it's a constant self-awareness and then taking a step forward to try and be vulnerable, like it's a constant thing that just is never ending to be honest, so the advice I would give you if you're in a relationship right now and you really want to stop bringing past trauma, like past things into the present, is to first of all become aware of the fact that you're doing it. And if you're watching this video, then you most likely are aware that you're doing it, which is amazing and is the first step. So you should actually be quite proud of yourself for that because a lot of people are not self-aware. So you've achieved the first step, which is self-awareness. You know that you're doing it and you want to make a change. So now, think about like all of the ways that you behave in the relationship that are causing problems and also the ways that the other person is behaving that are causing problems and then when you have these interactions with the person you can literally allow yourself to be honest and let the person know exactly what it is that you're dealing with like especially if it's in a romantic relationship, you may well have already told them certain things about past experiences that you've had. So they're aware of the trauma, like they need to be aware of what it is that you're dealing with and where you're at mentally so that they can decide whether this is a connection that they're willing to invest in, you know? Just like you would need to be aware of things about them too, to decide whether it's a compatibility match for each other. And like they need to obviously have compassion and um hold space for you to be able to process the trauma that you're essentially reliving because every time a trigger comes up you're basically reliving that trauma so they obviously need to have space for you to be able to do that but at the same time you also need to hold accountability to yourself because it's not their job to heal you it's not their job to cater to your trauma to the point where it makes them sacrifice parts of themselves like you have to be the one to deal with it yourself you have to be the one to pick yourself back up you have to be the one to be aware of the fact that something's triggering you and that it's not this person it's actually a past situation you know you have to be aware self-aware it's like the key to life and if we're not self-aware then you're just going to stay in the same cycle so nobody else can do this for you unfortunately I wish they could because that would save all of us so much stress but they can't so you have to do it for yourself be aware of all of your wounds and then work towards um work toward I want to say healing them but like work towards I guess making peace with them and there's a lot of ways to do this to be honest and I don't know if I should cover that in this video because it's going to be ridiculously long but I'll give one example, one thing I like to do is I will go in my mind, I will like set some time aside for myself to visualise and I will go back to a past memory and I mean I've done this in a therapy session and I've also done this on my own where I'll go back in my mind, I'll see the past memory, I'll see myself like third person, I'll literally see that version of myself in front of me experiencing that situation and I will see what she needs and most of the time she just needs acknowledgement, she needs to know that she's heard, she's understood, she's felt and who better to do that for you than yourself because you are yourself, like you do feel your emotions just like the other, per the other version of you felt emotions, you can fully feel them because you are one person like one being so you can go back in your mind to that memory and really just acknowledge how you felt back then because oftentimes the reason why we're still feeling the trauma is because we're not wanting to acknowledge it we're trying to like push it to the side and bury it you know instead of actually allowing ourselves to accept the fact that this happened that this is how I felt about it at the time and 
that it wasn't a nice experience and that I didn't deserve it and I didn't ask for it but that it happened and I can't change the fact that it happened but I can give myself love now for the fact that she was really suffering she didn't know what to do like she felt so unworthy all of these things of whatever you felt you can just go back in your mind and one time I literally just went up to myself and gave myself a hug like in my mind my younger self gave her a hug told her that it's gonna be okay that you will get through this that it's temporary and it's fine like you're stronger than you think kind of thing and I don't know it just made me feel a lot better to be honest so only we can heal our own trauma and maybe I will make a video on the full steps of how to heal your trauma because it's a full like lifelong in-depth thing and it's probably different for everyone as well but in order to stop bringing the trauma into the past you have to be actively working through your trauma you also have to be actively self-aware of everything that you're bringing into the present and then consciously make the effort not to do that anymore by talking to the person and letting them know where you're at in your life and why you keep reacting the way that you do and then actively seek to change that say they trigger you to completely retreat then what you would actively do is when that trigger comes up and that desire to retreat is you can tell them that you're feeling it maybe you will retreat and you'll go and sit in your room or you'll go sit somewhere by yourself but then when you do that you'll be able to um, analyze and feel into exactly what you're feeling and why you're feeling it and give yourself what you need in those moments so that you don't um, retreat for like weeks at a time or something you'll just Give yourself what you need in each moment and then you'll be able to communicate that with the other person so that they know exactly what's going on and they won't feel so um like not disrespected but just so abandoned and so awkward and like powerless in how to help you if that makes sense so there's not really one answer to this, there's a million things that you can do, but the number one thing is self-awareness and communication, because oftentimes when we're bringing things from the past, the other person isn't aware of why we're reacting the way that we are, or like what's going on, so you have to just communicate and let them know exactly what you're feeling and exactly why, and also the fact that it's not necessarily about them, it's more an issue and a wound that you're trying to deal with, and they need to just respect you and give you some space to be able to process that you know and I don't mean space as in physically I mean space as in like emotionally and mentally instead of trying to like pull an answer out of you and pressure you into doing things they just take that pressure off and just allow you to express when you're ready kind of thing and then yeah you just have to work through it to be honest so I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Do stay tuned because I will film a video on how to heal your trauma. And don't forget to check out the links in the description box for all links to my music, social media, my phone number, my merch, my healing jewellery brand and just so much more. It's all in the description box below. And you can also DM me or comment below or text or WhatsApp me if you have any video requests because I'm always open to requests on anything that you want me to talk about and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already because I do upload three times a week so yes I will see you in next week's video bye you could say I love you I can't get enough but I just want you to myself